Recently, a customer contacted me because they didn't understand what clip pixels are and why they can occur when using manual levels adjustment. In this video, I'll explain what they are and how to use the View Clipped Pixels option to avoid losing important information when using manual levels to increase the contrast in an image. Before I get into that, I need to explain what an image intensity histogram is because that's what you see and use in the interface for manual levels. My explanation will use 8-bit grayscale images. 8-bit grayscale images can have 256 different shades of gray, ranging from 0, which is black, to 255, which is white. So you can see the gradient here, going right from 0 to 255. So pretend this is a tiny 12-pixel image. The pixel intensities are shown here in this array. Notice that you probably can't see the difference between 0 and 1, or even 128, 120, and 115, because their intensities are too similar for us to see the difference, and that's why we need to use contrast stretching sometime. So an intensity histogram is a graph of the number of pixels with each possible intensity in the image. So here's the histogram for this mini image. You can see that at an intensity 0, there's one pixel. There are two pixels that have intensity 1. There's one pixel that has intensity 115, one pixel that has intensity 120, and there are four pixels with intensity 128, and so on. So in CSI Pix, when you click Manual Levels, you will see the image's histogram. This is a very dark image, and this is what the histogram looks like. You can see that most of the pixels have a low intensity from, say, 0 to 60 or so. They're all concentrated in this part of the histogram. This is a bright image, and this is what the histogram looks like. You can see it has more range than the previous image. It ranges from, say, 95 to 255, and you can actually see that there are a lot of pure white 255 pixels in the image. And a histogram doesn't tell you where the pixels are in image, but you can see that those 255 pixels are up here in the sky. This is an image with good contrast, and this is what the histogram looks like. You can see it goes right from 0 to 255. So in a low contrast image like this one, the intensities are concentrated in one section of the histogram, which makes it very difficult to see details in the image. You can use manual levels for contrast stretching, and spread those intensities out so that you can see detail in the image. Before contrast stretching, the histogram looked like this, and after, it looks like this. And as you can see, you can see a lot more detail in the image. I'll quickly demo this so you can see it in real life and you'll know how to do it in CSI Pix. So I've loaded the same image on both sides just so you can keep an eye on the original image over here on the left, and I'll work on the right image. So for Contrast Enhancement, you click Enhance, and then go to Levels, Manual. So here's the histogram. And you adjust things by moving these sliders, the black sliders, so that they more tightly surround where the majority of the pixels are in your image. So you can see that I moved, I didn't change the lower limit because that's um, it's a dark image, and I don't really need to move that in. I move the upper limit down to 55, and you can see more detail in the image. After you click Apply, if I want to see what the resulting histogram looks like, I can just click Manual, Manual Levels, and you can see that the intensities are more spread out. If you're curious about what's happening to the intensity levels, this is what's happening. The pixels from 0 to wherever you've positioned the lower black arrow will become zero. And those pixels are what we refer to as clipped. They're clipped at zero intensity. The pixels that are higher than the upper limit to 255 are going to be clipped to 254. The pixels that are in the range from where the lower arrow is positioned and the upper arrow will be stretched from 1 to 253. So basically, these get spread out to fill almost the whole area from here to here. These pixels get squished down to zero. These pixels get squished up to 254. So it's the pixels that become zero and 254 that are referred to as clipped. 
So in the example that I just showed, these are the pixels that actually became clipped over here. It's basically the moon and a few random reflections. So if the important evidence in this image was the little boy, then that's okay because you clip something that's not important. What's important is that you use view clip pixels to make sure you're not clipping anything that's in the area that's important. I'll do a quick demo now to show you how to use view clipped pixels. So I'll just redo the contrast enhance on the right image. Once again I go to enhance, manual levels, move the bars in toward the kind of the hump in the histogram. Now you can click view clipped pixels and you can see that it's just the moon and some reflections here but if I went further and clicked view clip pixels you'll start to see wave and his neck and his legs those pixels are getting clipped at this point so I would back off and view it looks okay and then I would click apply because I'm not clipping anything in the important part of the image in this slide I'm showing information about how the mid slider affects things. By default it's located halfway between the two outer sliders, but once you've positioned your outer sliders you can actually move this inside slider back and forth up to um, either one of those. So what happens is these pixels are clipped to zero, these pixels are clipped at 254, the pixels from here to here are stretched from 1 to 253, but the pixels from this slider to this slider are stretched from 1 to 127, and the pixels from this slider to this slider are stretched from 128 to 253. So if you were to move this slider to the right, you're actually going to get more stretching on the right side. If you move it to the left, you're going to get more stretching for whatever pixels are between these. The easiest thing is probably just to demo it so you can see how it affects the result. So I've got the same image open on both sides. I'm going to operate on the right hand image. Manual levels. I'll just move the inner slider now so you can see how it works. So as I move the inner slider to the left, we're going to get more stretching in the darker pixels. If I move it to the right, we're going to get more stretching in the lighter pixels. So basically what I suggest with this is you move the outer pixels so that you're enhancing what you're interested in. Say I'm interested in this print here. Move those so that you can see nice contrast there. View clip pixels to make sure you're not clipping anything important. And then you can move this back and forth to see what looks better to your eye. And when you're happy with it, just click Apply. Thank you for your attention. I hope this helps uh, your understanding of manual levels adjustment and clipped pixels. Please reach out if you have any questions or suggestions for other videos I could do in this series.